Hey guys, Ben Tigra here, going to do a review on the Lego City Fire Truck. I picked this up at Walmart for I think about $23. I think it was a really good buy, and I will show you why I think so. First, we have the minifigures here: two firemen. One's got the uh, the white helmet, basic white helmet, and I've I understand that this is a face you see in Lego City a lot. And I hope my voice didn't just go off the microphone. Apologies if it did. He's this one's got gloves, as opposed to this guy, who's got a he's got a chrome hat helmet, and he has no gloves, which is interesting that they would do that. But um, yep. So there's them. I think they're nice. They have no back printing, and they have a couple accessories here with the truck. I will show you as I get to it. Uh, real quick, I'll show you the trailer on the back, make life easier. See, it's got a raft on the inside, it's got a steering wheel, it's got the, the motor going on here in the back. Also comes with this life vest, and the uh, the parts on the vest are stickers, which is unfortunate because they're a pain to put on. But, yep, there's the raft on the trailer here. You've got two doors on the side, one has a fire extinguisher in it. And then this one is, they don't give you anything to put in it, but of course you can put whatever you want in it. Now as for the fire truck, on the outside you can see you come, you get a fire axe here, you get another fire extinguisher, a uh, compartment here to stick in, not much because it's small, but it's a compartment. And then around the other side you get the walkie-talkie and the fire hose. Fire hose does pull out on the string, and you can roll it right back up stick it here conveniently on the side. Now these two doors on the sides are open. And these doors are pretty cool. I enjoyed these. I haven't seen these with Lego before, though I'm sure they exist. Inside is a box that has parts for a better fireman suit. And if you'll bear with me real quick, I will set it up. The This visor piece connects to the air tank and then you can stick the head right in there. And it fits perfectly for the helmet right on top. And I think that looks very cool in the box. They give you an extra visor. I thought that was cool. You stick it right in there. It's got uh, it's flat pieces so it slides right in. <laughs> and right on through. All right, well, let's just leave that up. And the ladder does extend and contract or whatever you'd use for that. Oh, sorry, I, I guess you can't really see that. I'll have to raise the camera. And then, uh, <laughs> the bucket moves. This also pivots. And everything's falling apart. This is fantastic because I have no editing abilities on this computer. Hey, all right, well, the ladder just snaps on where the steps are, it snaps into the bricks, and there is a, uh, like a toothy piece here on the inside that the, uh, yellow piece snags onto to keep it up, though it's a little awkward to lower because you have to lift the piece up here with your finger and then drop it, and it's down, but it's still very cool, and you can swivel the back by dropping down these arms or legs or whatever you want to refer to them as, they're on both sides. You bring them down, flatten them, so they, st I guess they stabilize the truck, and then you are able to rotate the back. Not all the way, because the stuff in the back gets in the way, but it still rotates. But I, I really enjoyed this set, because I haven't had a, a, a normal Lego set for quite a few years. And by normal, I do mean just, like, a, a truck or a car or a house. Something simple. And I really like this. For $23, I thought it was a fantastic deal because it was an enjoyable build for me. And as you can see, it's a it's a very good fire truck. So I hope you enjoyed this. hope it wasn't too much of a pain with this cruddy webcam. And thanks for watching.